for uh, the drone six over the USS Batfish right now. Darren, tell us what you're seeing. All right. The first thing that jumps out at me, if you look over in the lower right hand corner of your screen, that is the ramp. If you're going to tour the Batfish, that's the ramp that you would take to get onto the Batfish. Uh, about 10 yards of it is underwater, and it's about four feet deep. And the reason why I know it's four feet deep is because on the deck right now are some gentlemen that are working to try and get this thing secured as overnight all of the moorings or the tethers that hold this thing in place, except for one, broke loose. And I understand that the National Guard has, been, has came in, and they're going to try to help the local officials with the batfish to try to get this thing secured uh, sometime this morning before it breaks loose. Now, back in 1986, when we had the record flood, the batfish did break loose, and they were able to get it back into place. But they're trying to circumvent that now by being proactive and uh, get some additional moorings in place with this. Okay, Darren, and I wanted to ask you, too, if folks aren't familiar, this is the War Memorial Park, and there are several war memorials here, including, I understand, part of the USS Oklahoma mast uh, that was sunk in Pearl Harbor. And I guess that is, from what Amy Slanchik was saying, partially submerged as well. And there's tanks and artillery. Can you see any of that? The, the artillery um, uh, guns are up in the um, middle of the park. And if I pan around to the left, there's some right there in the center of your screen, and I don't see them, but up towards the main building uh, are some more that's a little bit higher ground. So I think those are all right. But right on here to the uh, left side of the submarine uh, are some war memorials there, and those are likely partially submerged. Mm. All right, a lot of history there. Again, this is a live look from Drone 6. Thank you for that update.